Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't really posted any videos on here recently. I've been slacking and I'm very sorry. But today I am back with an, a great, amazing, bit of a autumnal haul for you all. So we have some bits from Zara, which I am bloody loving at the moment. We have some bits from Nasty Girl, obviously my fave. And we've also got a few bits or coats specifically from ASOS, which are also killing the game at the moment. Everyone is like up in their, up in their game in this horrible lockdown part two. So just putting it out there as well, I am trying to be quite frugal at the moment and I'm trying to be sustainable and not buy lots of clothes, which I have actually succeeded in because this is my first haul in honestly ages for me. I ha I have been trying to like reuse a lot of things in my wardrobe and also depop or eBay lots of my existing clothes just to give them to a new home if I know I'm not gonna wear them. And I thought if I'm freeing up closet space and I can kind of like buy one more bit maybe, but I'm also trying to shop and get clothes that I can see myself wearing for like a long period of time and not just for one occasion, which I was pretty bad for before to be fair. This is a bit different, but I'm just gonna put it in this video anyway. For Christmas, I'm gonna try and shop like small business, local businesses, um, and also like sustainable, eco-friendly businesses, just because why the hell not? Like I found so much great um, brown paper, wrapping paper, and like recyclable sellotape, and, little cards and stuff from Amazon. So I'm gonna buy all of that. Um, I just think if you can, like why the hell not, then might as well do it. So that's just a little beginning before we start the video. So everyone shops small this Christmas. Right, let's get into it. Christ, I'll do Nasty Gal first. So I didn't really get too much to be fair. I think I just got three, four items, four items this time. We'll start with the first item, which evidently I love because I've already worn it and I, it's in the wash. But I'll put a picture up here with it. So basically this is a little set, um, a long sleeve black, I think it's linen. No, it's not linen, that's the wrong word. But it's like this long sleeve, um, kind of lounge wear pajama -y set. It's really stretchy, maybe a bit too stretchy. Um, the bottoms, so it's a set you have to buy in one size, so I got in size eight, and the bottoms are quite big. And now I look back at the model, I'm like, okay, you can see it's a little bit baggy, but I think if I'd got a smaller size, the top wouldn't have fitted as nicely. So it's a bit of a who's gonna win situation. Super comfortable, super soft, um, and I just think it actually like looks a bit more elegant. If you paired it, so I wore it the other day when I was working, and I just wore, paired it with like my jewellery and some nice earrings. And I actually think it looks so sophisticated and kind of like really, what's the word when it's like, you're not trying to be sexy and elegant, but you look it. I thought that anyway. I literally got this, I think for like 11 pounds. I'll link everything in the description so you can go have a little look because they have got some Black Friday sales on at the moment. So yeah, that's a really good set if you just want something casual, it's super easy to just throw on or wear it to bed like I did. Next dress is this one here. Again, I'll put a picture up. This dress, basically, I've been seeing this for ages on Nasty Girl, so it's been a long, long stand, so I reckon it'll be on the website for a long time to come. I wanted this for a wedding. I thought this would look really pretty at a wedding. Just really elegant, like super sexy and cool. I love the ruffles. Like, I, I'm a ruffle gal, like I think that looks really nice. The color is a little bit duller in real life, and I'm not sure how I feel about that, because in the, the model it looks quite bright and cool but yeah it's not as in your face but that might that might suit some people the material actually is really nice and it's not see-through at all it's quite thick um which is really good my only thing is and you can see in this trial video that is the the top button's a little bit gapy um so I, if i am to keep this i'm gonna have to put a little stitch in to like sew it up just so it's a little bit more secure around the bust area but apart from that really really nice and i got this in a size eight um it is slightly tight around my bust area but um we can make that work it still fits really nice and i think that would look really nice at christmas time uh, even with like flats or with heels tights without tights like it's quite a versatile dress so really like that i think i got this for about 16 pounds i believe it's about 18 pounds now on the website the price honestly fluctuates so much on nasty gal so 
don't feel stressed keep it in your basket have a look at it for the next few days and i'm sure you get it down cheaper okay so i've been following um recently this girl on instagram called monique dale she is so bloody cool like i love her style i think she just dresses amazing and she like is the like epitome of me I don't know if that's the right saying, but basically I want to be her. She loves a long dress, so do I. <laughs> long dress. And her style is just very like simple yet classy, yet looks like she's made a lot of effort and I just live for that. But she wears a lot of things, like I've just said, down to her ankle. So I wanted to get a black long dress that I could wear as a skirt with a top on the top or as a dress, I have wanted like a, just a silk black long skirt for ages, but I just can't find one that I like. However, this arrived and I just don't understand it to be honest. Just gonna have to drop this in here. When I was trying on this, the Nascar black satin dress again, I realized I was putting it on the wrong way around originally. So I'm gonna put two videos in here so you can see what I was talking about where I thought the straps were wrong, but actually I was just putting it on wrong, so it was user error, and it actually looks very pretty. Go get, go get. You will see from this trial video, but surely these straps should be next to each other. Like, why is this so different to this side? Like, I just don't understand. It looks terrible. The length isn't right. I'm just not feeling it. The quality, however, is very good. It's very thick. You can't see through it. It's really great. Um, yeah, just the work on the top, on the straps, it's just not for me. Also, I don't like this multiple strap slash cross back effect. It's just not for me. But yeah, so I'm afraid this one's going to have to go back. But I think I got this one for a, for about £15. So, I mean, price-wise, you can't go wrong. But it just, it's just the lack of quality. The attention to detail it's lacking, if I'm honest. So... Yeah, not greatly happy with that. Whilst I was on the shopping around for long maxi silk kind of things, I came across this really cute, like, what's it called? Like ivory champagne colour? I call it champagne now because Gemma Collins calls it that, obviously. So I ordered this maxi dress. Now this one I do actually quite like. However, you'll see from the charm video as well, the side, I just don't understand. And I don't understand if it's the stitching from the slit or what they what have they done but it just makes you look frumpy like i'm just not not here for it this dress itself like i love this little line at the front like i just think it just gives it something else that like, is really sophisticated i think the actual fabric is really pretty it's got a weird feel to it you know the back is a little bit more bougie as well like it's got some again like some detail in here which is nice and I just think the actual material looks like Christmassy. Like I'd love to wear this on a Christmas day. And I think it is quite like bougie and sophisticated. But it's just the side paneling for me. I just don't understand like how they've, why they've done that. Anyway, I got a size 10. So I don't know if a smaller size would have done any different. Um, it has got adjustable straps here. So you can maybe size down or up and you can adjust it to your area your size up here so that's quite a good thing love the material of it and um, really think it would look great at christmas and it's so cheap as well so okay loves that is all of my nasty girls so moving on to zara zara keep seeing that tiktok when it's just like zara 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 and i'm here for that i'm here for that one thing i will say about zara though is i don't really shop zara online i just find the website like ridiculously difficult to shop and i just don't understand how they pose and stuff. So normally I don't shop online. So normally I shop in the stores and stuff. So I'd never really get parcels from Zara. But this one, when I did get it, the quality of their parcel, their packaging, I'm honestly in shock, like it's, it's so good. Obviously it's in a box, a, wood, a wooden bud box, a cardboard box, which again is just, I love that. Like here for the recyclability, the, sustainability and then it comes like tissue paper and none of the products none of the clothes come in plastic bags so like with nasty eye you get like these for everything and it's just like it's a bit unnecessary i always find that really frustrating this all comes wrapped up in tissue paper and then if you order shoes they come in these like gorgeous little bags and like they've even got the the 
recycling logo on the bottom. So here for that, the, the packaging, like it already does so much for me and it's not even expensive Zara. Like, yeah, there are bits on it that are a bit more pricey, but the stuff that I've ordered today, like I'll show you and tell you the prices, like it's not expensive and it just shows. I just, I love that, I love that. I'll start with my favorite Zara purchase. I just saw the monstrosity I bought from Nasty Girl, the black long dress. I found a similar version on Zara. This one's in the sale for $15.99. This one is longer than the Nasty Girl one. It goes right down to ankles. It's very Monique Dale and I'm really loving that. The straps are super simple. Like it's just a, one straight spaghetti strap over. The top is a little bit, like the front bit is a little bit higher and it's kind of like the box shape, which I don't really like. The material obviously for Zara is just sensational. Like it's just gorgeous. It just literally feels like so nice and satin and thick and beautiful. So I'm very, very happy with this. Next thing I got from Zara then. So I just wanted a couple of basic tops. So I got this crop top in black and I also got it in white. These were both $7.99 and I got them in a size small because I wanted them to be quite tight. The material is stretchy, which is good. Obviously, like you want it to be a bit breathable, not like too tight. What I will say about these is this is like user error, it's not Zara's fault. They're a little bit longer than I thought they would be. On, they aren't the right kind of length I wanted. They're not so croppy. Also have like every color of the Zara 12.99 bodysuit, which is in the similar kind of neckline to this one. So for me, this is a bit futile having this because it's basically to me the same as the bodysuit. So I probably will send these back but I will say, I will go back on the website and try and find something a little bit shorter. Just because I think like when, at the moment when we're wearing tracksuit bottoms all the time or leggings, like gym, gym wear, these are so like, easy to have just as like a throw on top. And again, like over with some jewelry on, like so pretty. And just like gives you a little bit of elegance when you've got such a super simple outfit. But for $7.99, the quality of these is really great. Um, just not the length that I wanted, so not sure if I'll be keeping these. Okay, next up then, I got this top. So it's a long sleeve, like creamy white colored top. And from the website, you can't tell, like I couldn't tell the material of this, but it's actually like woolen a little bit. And I can't even express how soft this is, but the fit for me just isn't right. This was 12 99 and I got a small, I kind of was after something in the previous top I showed you material, so a bit more elasticated, a bit more stretchy. Um, but I don't know, it'll kind of like mould your body, but this is obviously like woolen, so it's not, doesn't do that. And I kind of like how they've got it. So you know, like when you have like the inside stitches like this, it's on the outside. I kind of like that. Like it's just a little bit more detailing, like it's just pretty. I mean, obviously you can see what it looks like on, but. I don't know if it's what I'm after. And that's why I'm sh that's how I'm shopping at the moment. If I don't love it, I'm not keeping it. And if it's not something I need, which I don't really need, that it's not what I thought I needed, then I shouldn't keep. <laughs> Moving on to the shoes. So I got two pairs of shoes from Zara. Each were 20 pounds in the sale. They were in the sale because they are basically summer shoes. But if they're in the sale now and you like them and they're kind of timeless pieces, then there's no harm I feel like preparing early and getting it now. So that was my justification to myself. So the first pair I got, again, came in this really gorgeous bag. Like, love that a lot. These gold metallic -y kind of slip-on mules, which come with um, tie-up kind of straps. I don't know, I should have really realized from the get-go of getting these, but obviously because there's no back, when you walk, they're gonna like flip-flop a lot. And when you've got it tied around your ankle and you're flip-flopping like that, it just feels too gapy for me and it doesn't like feel right. These are gorgeous and the quality again is like really, really great for these. I just don't love them slash need them. So I'm gonna return these, but they are really great. And Zara has got loads of good quality, like cheapish shoes on there at the moment. So something to have a look at. Okay, the next pair and the last thing from Zara that I got were these gorgeous sandals. Basically, I've seen these around like loads this summer. Um, 
and I didn't really like them. <laughs> now, obviously, now we're out of season, I do like them, obviously. Also, Monique Dale has these too. So, well, not these exact ones, but she's probably got like hundreds of pounds ones. But these were 20 quid and I love them, but I'm not sure. So these are these. So they're kind of like, do you call them Jesus sandals? I don't know what you call them, but they're kind of like strappy sandals and they're so cute. So I got my normal size, I got a five and I got them a 19.99. My thing though with these, this front fit here is so bloody long. Like my toes literally, like I've put a video up so you can see, but my toes actually come to here and I don't know if it looks like I've got the wrong size, but everything else about them fits, um, which is to me like bizarre, but they've got this really cute leopard print kind of pattern here, which is really nice. It just is obviously like a bit of nicer detailing. Also the, the metal is silver, which is really nice. I just think it like, it's quite subtle with the black. It looks really pretty. I love them, but I'm not sure because of the length of the front. If they didn't, if they weren't so bloody long, like I would get them, but I don't know if that's fashionable. Is that fashionable? Having it like a shoe that looks too big for you. I mean, we have some weird trends at the most, so maybe that is a trend. I don't know. Right, so we're on to the final part of the video. So one of the trends I've been really loving at the moment is that long line puffer coat, which kind of makes you look like you're on the bench at rugby. You know that when they wear those like really long coats. I love it. Like, I think they're so cool. I feel like if I were to wear one, I don't know why, this is like my dream life here. I would love, I feel like I would be like walking my dog across like Dartmoor in like Devon or like along the beach. Just daydreaming. Mm. But anyways, that's why I bought a few. So I didn't know what one I wanted and I didn't even know what color I liked. So I got three the other day from ASOS. So this week in ASOS, they had 20% um, off coats the other day. So I quickly like got three um, for a bargain price. I'm basically gonna show you what I got. So the first one I got then is this one. So it's actually, it's khaki, which I didn't know if I wanted, but it just looked quite cool on the model. So I purchased it. The reason I did purchase this one because I wanted one with a hood, because I don't have any coats with a hood. Like, I don't understand. So it's a quilted coat and it's two different patterns. So as you can see here, the bottom part is like a duvet kind of quilt. And then the top part is like, I don't even know what that shape is, like, I don't know, it looks like a Turkish kind of like vase, doesn't it? I don't know. And they're kind of two different greens as well, but I like that, it's like contrasting and it's cool. I got this one, it's from ASOS, but it's from the brand Collusion, and I got this in a size 10. My thing here with this, I do wish I'd gone for a bit of a smaller size, but obviously they haven't got the big sale on it anymore. Um, so I, ha I wouldn't get it for the same price. So this was reduced down from 65 to about um, 52, if I'm right. Y you can work it out, it was 20% off. I don't, I can't do maths. This was like such a great find and I'm just a bit angry that I didn't get a smaller size. But you know what? Like, I guess you do want a bit bigger and I guess you do want it to be like slouchy because that is the vibe, that is the style. So I do love this one and I love the colour and I love the pattern and I love the contrasting patterns. I think it's great. It's also not massively thick, but again, I kind of like it because I feel like this would be a good transitional coat into spring as well, when it's like not super cold, but not super warm either. It obviously is thick enough to be like a coat. I don't, I can't show you. It's more like describing it, isn't it? It is thick and I can feel that it'd be thick. I think if I was caught in a rainstorm, it wouldn't be protective. Whereas, you know, thicker coats, sometimes it just absorbs it. But I do love this and I think this is the one for me. So we'll start with the winner really and I'll show you the losers. The next one I got was this black one here. Now this one, I can't describe the material of this. It really feels Funny. That's not a great description, is it? It's thicker for sure than the other coat. The material just feels like it wouldn't protect you from anything. I don't know if you can like hear from the sound. I don't know. This is also from Collusion and I got this in a size eight um, because I read the comments that someone had said about purchasing this coat and they said that um, they got their normal size 12 that they would get in coats, which to be fair, I probably would normally get like a 12 with a big jumper on and if you want a like a bigger coat and she said it came out as like an 18 like not it wasn't physically an 18 but like the size it was just this coat is super oversized which is a bit annoying and deceiving because in the title of the coat it's not called 
oversized, which if it was, you'd understand, obviously. So I got this in an A, and bloody glad I did. Like I should have honestly got like a four. It's huge. For me, I think it's just a bit too, too big. And actually, now I've, I'm glad I ordered some car documents because I don't really like it in black. I think it would be really good if you were going out and summer was gonna be really cold. This would keep you really warm. I like already it's on my legs and I feel like I'm under a duvet. That's kind of what it feels like actually, a duvet. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like duvet. It's got a massive pocket here. The other one has got, the first coat does have pockets, but on the side, they're a little bit more tricky to get to, but you know, you gotta pick your battles. It would do you really well if you needed a warm coat, for sure. Just for me, really size down. Like I'm a size eight probably, and my size 10 coat in the same brand I got before is quite big. So genuinely size down. I know you like normally for coats you would size up, but size down, trust me. Okay, on to my final item. So my final item is another coat um, from ASOS, and this is from a brand called Reclaimed Vintage. So I've just finished watching The Crown, season four, bloody obsessed. I just live for that kind of country vibe, walking, like with the nice barber coats, like with that kind of like vibe. I don't know. Like I just, I'm here for it. So I saw this one on the website on ASOS and I just thought that looks so barber-esque, but it's in the long line puffer-ish. Like it's not really puffery, but it's kind of. So this one is more of like a brownie green, I'd say. Like it looks like that country like colour doesn't it like just just super like nice this one doesn't have a hood neither does the last one which is a reason why i'm not like 100 sold on them because i do want something with a hood um this one i got a size medium i was panicking basically because the 20 percent off sale finished at nine and i was ordering this at 8 58 and i literally just saw this last minute and i was like Shit, put it in my basket put it in my basket so i should have got a small like less than that, I, you need to downsize in these big coats because they are huge. It's super thick and I feel like it would kind of protect you a bit more from the rain. It's got that kind of like feel to it, like a proper barber coat. It's also got some extra pockets like here on the front, like here, which is really nice. Just not sure, obviously I want something with a hood. So that is a bit frustrating, but I do really like it and I love the colour of it and I love that it looks barbery and it looks expensive. So that is everything. That is my haul. So that is kind of like my my autumn, autumn, autumn slash winter kind of like essentials that you kind of need. I mean, you probably don't need summer shoes like I was showing you from Zara now, but you know, you know. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to be really good and trying not to buy many clothes or anything that I really, really need. Um, so yeah, try and be sustainable, guys. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here because I've just completely done like a fast fashion haul, but you know, you know, you gotta do these things sometimes. Hope you guys enjoyed that anyway and you want a little bit of inspiration, if anything, from the vid. You can like add a bit of fun to your, your Christmas wardrobe styling. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.